Mr. Connor, what can I do for you? It's the boy's mother. She's an awful warrior. The little fecker causes us no end of grief. Well, he's a very troubled young boy. That he is, but she's mad about him. And she's got it into her head he's going away for a long stretch. Well, if he doesn't pass his psych test, that's a distinct possibility. Right. And you're the one conducting the test, yeah? That's right. Any chance you can give him a pass? The tests are impartial and conclusive. It's really up to Darren whether he passes or not. I see you wear glasses. Bad eyes. I'm a bit short-sighted, yeah? Yeah. You know, it wouldn't be too difficult for me to make it so you wouldn't have to wear them glasses again. And how would you accomplish that? No need for glasses if you don't have any eyeballs. <laughs> Say, someone must have cut them out of your fucking head. That's a metaphor, not reality. It's a simile. That's not reality. It's not a metaphor, it's a simile. But even if it were, the defining feature of a metaphor is that it's real. You're not 80 years old, are you? Why don't you ask me why? Why did I cut my arm? Would you like to tell me? Yes. Then tell me. Ask me why. Why did you cut your arm? Because it feels fucking great. And you don't think you will? No. I do. It's not your fault, but you have to take responsibility for your own actions. My name is Christine Dunhu. This was my sister. A man by the name of Jack Kelsey is serving life in prison for her rape and murder. What's that got to do with me? Jack Kelsey still maintains he's innocent. I didn't believe him until I found Charlotte's diary and read your name in it. Constant warfare.